All right, so now that we've got our Homey Pro installed, it's time to add some devices and get into some of the rules and automation. So first, uh, going through adding the devices, I noticed when I was doing this uh, for infrared devices, I found a couple of different ways that you can add the device, but only one is showing you kind of all the options, and that's uh, on the app, but I'll give you a demonstration here. Okay, so if you're inside the app on the desktop and you click on add and then new device, uh, one of the devices I want to add is the TV behind us there. And I do a search for sharp, I get no results found. Well, that's not very helpful for me. But then if I go into the app, there's two different ways to do it in here. Also, it is worth mentioning when you are doing this, make sure that that infrared box is, or the Homey Pro is close, uh, maybe even obnoxiously close to your TV or your setup or whatever you're trying to control just to make sure that it's not a range or a sighting or a line of sight issue. And once you have the right devices set up, then you can kind of back it off and play with it and make sure that it's still working from its new spot. But at least you know you're taking one anomaly out of it. Okay, so on the app, if I go and add new device here and I type in sharp, does a search, and I also don't get anything. However, if I go back here and I go to infrared, and now I go sharp, all of a sudden I get a whole bunch of options of different stuff I can try for my TV. All right, so you don't need to install all of these. Just pick one of the uh, similar device here. We got the TV. Find the power on, power off control for it. This will save you at least having to install everything. You can try something from this screen until you find the right device that works. Here's a power toggle on this one. TV's in the background there. You see nothing's turned on. I did do this in advance, and of course it was the dead last one. It was the group number five. All right, once you get the power toggle, we'll do the same thing here, and I'll do it so you can see it as well. And there we can see this TV always takes a couple of seconds to come on for whatever reason and boot up. So that one works. Click on next. And we'll see it listed in the list. Now once we got it here, we can take and we can automate it with a flow if we want. The same for adding devices happened to the both the Marantz and the Rotel that you've seen on there. The other two home theater components I have, they were all found on the app, searching it that way, but none on the PC. So in the next video that'll show up on the side here, we'll take and we're going to go through setting up some rules as flows, automations, whatever you want to call it, and just kind of the basics of putting that together.